Musk never ceases to redefine the boundaries of advanced tech industries. He shook the automobile industry to its core with the introduction of Tesla, bringing electric vehicles to the mainstream. But it didn't stop there. In the realm of space exploration, SpaceX, under Musk's leadership, introduced a concept that was once relegated to the pages of science fiction or the visuals of movies, reusable rockets. This was no small feat. By introducing reusable rockets, SpaceX changed the way we think about and how space missions are executed. This new approach greatly reduced the time between rocket launches and also significantly reduced the costs associated with sending payloads into space. A once expensive endeavor became markedly more affordable and sustainable. Now Musk wants to take the idea of reusable rockets even further. But before we dive deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and SpaceX's other missions. Musk is thinking big. He's looking at the oceans. He has plans to build launch platforms right on the water for his Starship rockets. Why? Because he wants to launch a lot of them, with the goal of sending a huge amount of cargo to Mars every year. This move is not just about ensuring smooth and safe launches. It's SpaceX's broader objective of Mars colonization and effective resource utilization on the Red Planet. However, it's important to note that earlier attempts to repurpose oil rigs into launch platforms have been shelved, largely due to concerns about their environmental impact and logistical hurdles like transportation and fuel supply. Nevertheless, with dedication and time, these challenges are believed to be surmountable. Recently, the Falcon Heavy also grabbed headlines with its remarkable mission for NASA, launching the Psyche asteroid probe. This sets the tone for four more big launches that NASA and SpaceX have planned for the next few years. What's exciting is the range of tasks this rocket will be taking on. The Falcon Heavy missions will do a lot of different things. They'll send probes far into space, help launch a major space observatory, send up a weather satellite, and even play a key role in NASA's mini space station project near the moon. The recent Psyche Asteroid Explorer's launch took place from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Falcon Heavy stands as one of the most reliable and powerful rockets in operation today. Companies and agencies are already lining up to harness its capabilities for their critical missions. An upcoming Falcon Heavy launch is reserved for the U.S. Space Force. Additionally, Astrobotic has secured not one, but two Falcon Heavy flights to deploy commercial moon landers, which will carry NASA experiments straight to the lunar surface. Additionally, there are two Falcon Heavy reservations in the works that SpaceX might utilize to transport resupply ships to the Gateway Lunar Station, but the clarity of these missions remains somewhat nebulous. All things considered, it's evident that NASA, either directly or indirectly, is the primary driver behind nine out of the ten Falcon Heavy missions currently in SpaceX's roster. Although upcoming rockets like United Launch Alliance's Vulcan and Blue Origin's New Glenn are emerging, they remain unproven. ULA eyes a possible first Vulcan test flight in December, and Blue Origin hints at a potential New Glenn debut next year, though these timelines may be overly optimistic. Looking ahead, SpaceX will likely be bidding farewell to the entire Falcon rocket family in the future. Their eyes are set on the grand prize, the mighty Starship rocket an even larger and more powerful beast. This is not just another rocket. Stretching an astounding 120 meters into the sky, it stands almost as tall as the Statue of Liberty. For a clearer comparison, NASA's famed Saturn V rocket, which powered the Apollo missions to the moon, was only about 111 meters tall. Envisioned to carry payloads of up to 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit, it doubles the capacity of the powerful Falcon Heavy, which can lift approximately 64 metric tons. Beyond sheer payload, Starship is designed for full reusability, potentially slashing the costs of space travel dramatically. The power of Starship doesn't stop at its size or payload capacity. Its Raptor engines, fueled by methane and oxygen, promise efficiency levels previously unattained in rocket propulsion. In its first test launch on April 20th, even though there were hitches, the rocket's raw power was palpable. And now, SpaceX is gearing up for Starship's second test launch. Most of the preparations are complete, with the primary remaining hurdle being regulatory approval. 
The company is currently in talks with the FAA, awaiting the green light to proceed. So, if all goes well, there's a real chance we could witness this gigantic rocket soar into the skies for its second takeoff before the year draws to a close. Meanwhile, SpaceX is also making waves by seeking approval from the International Telecommunication Union for a substantial launch of nearly 30,000 fresh Starlink satellites. The plan involves positioning these satellites at altitudes ranging from 350 to 614 kilometers across 288 orbital planes. In a formal request to Telecommunication Union, SpaceX has outlined its ambitious goal of deploying an additional 29,988 satellites to bolster its Starlink initiative. Interestingly, they're utilizing the Pacific Island nation of Tonga as a regulatory base, leveraging Tongsat's involvement in the satellite industry for their purposes. This isn't SpaceX's first rodeo with seeking approvals. Back in December 2022, they sought permission from the Federal Communications Commission for this very satellite launch, aiming for the same 29,988 satellites. However, the Commission only greenlit 7,518 of them. Notably, several major players in the industry, including Viasat, Hughes Network Systems, Amazon Kuiper Project, even NASA, raised objections. The Commission warned that the remaining satellites wouldn't get a quick approval. In response, SpaceX decided to forego plans for the approved 7,518 satellites using V-band spectrum, pending the Commission's approval for a new application involving V-band frequencies in Gen 2 projects. Fast forward to April 2023, and SpaceX made another bid by submitting a fresh request to the Federal Communications Commission for the launch of the full 29,988 new satellites. The driving force behind this grand satellite deployment is SpaceX's commitment to fortify its Starlink network. The Starlink project aims to create a vast satellite constellation that blankets the globe with broadband internet coverage. By bolstering their satellite fleet through these new launches, SpaceX is poised to enhance the reliability and capacity of their network, ultimately making affordable internet access a reality for underserved regions across the globe. That's all for today's update, folks. If you want to make sure you never miss any of the latest on SpaceX again, make sure you hit that sub button with notifications turned on.